What is going on everyone, it's Neary and here for you some Black Ops 2 gameplay, it's time to map Nuketown 2025 using a DSR-50 sniper rifle and I get a pretty good match playing some kill confirmed here. And uh, I must say though, out of all the snipers, I've tried just about all of them except for the SVU because that's essentially a dragon off. I'd have to say DSR is probably my favorite sniper so far, I mean it's a bolt action 50 cal. I've always liked bolt actions, I like the 50 cal as you kind of combine the two and this is what I got. And I like it. I wanted to make this video, uh, actually this clip, you're gonna, uh, those of you who are already familiar with my channel, you guys have already seen this clip. I posted videos back to back collaterals, we're going to pick up two in the side yard, we're going to see this guy in the backyard, pick him up for the triple feed. Get a bunch of teammate confirmed kills, which is what I do for the majority of this match. Pop up behind this car, and there's another collateral. But the snipers in this game, I feel as though they are balanced. That's what I want to talk about in this video, is the fact that the snipers and then Call of Duty Black Ops 2 are pretty balanced, and I'm pretty happy with the way they tune the sniper rifles. So, if you think the Call of Duty, a lot sniping has taken over Call of Duty, for the most part. I mean, a lot of people like to snipe, it's a big thing, it's a big form of, it's big. It's a big part of the game, right? Uh, COD 4, everyone seemed to love it because the M40A3, and uh, that's where a lot, for a lot of people, not everybody, some people go back all the way to COD 2, but for a lot of people, sniping started in COD 4 with the M40, so the, you know, sniping in Call, of, in Call of Duty 4 was like this big thing, whereas in World of War, people didn't like the game that much because they felt as though the snipers were too difficult to use, and then Mod for 2, everyone loved it because they brought Slide Pan Pro in and made quick scoping even easier. And then Black Ops, they said, huh, no, quick scoping is cheap. That's what Treyarch is, you know, essentially says, that quick scoping is a cheap, it's an exploit in the game, and people shouldn't be able to do it. And then they made it really, really difficult, and a lot of people, that turned a lot of people off Black Ops. Then Monover 3 and Infinity Ward's like final attempt to salvage any, any kind of following, any kind of um, I don't know, reference of their game. They made quick scoping easy again, and then people liked that, I guess. A lot of people like sniping in Monover 3 as well. And I feel as though in the Treyarch games, they've had the sniping right every game. Now, they obviously changes slightly every game, but I feel as though it's balanced in every single one. Uh, obviously, we're in the infantile stages here in Black Ops 2. I mean, it, it, we are, it's, maybe it's premature for me to be saying this, but I don't feel as though the snipers are a problem in this game. The people who snipe in this game are actually using the sniper well. They're actually using it to do well and help their team and not just run around and hope for a kill feed they can put in their montage. And that's one thing. I mean, montages are a cool thing to me. I like montages. I mean, obviously, who doesn't like watching a good put-together montage? But um, I, like, like, I've put many montages here on my channel, right? Here's the thing about me and my channel and my montages, I don't specifically go for clips. When you see a sniper clip from me, that just happened. I don't, you know, when you see like a Zerg Grizz montage or something like that, you may see that 10 minute montage be like, wow, that's awesome. But little do people realize the 60 days of play time that went into making that 10 minute montage because he just does nothing but snipe and snipe and snipe every game. And it's the same for a lot of snipers, a lot of people that only snipe on YouTube. Uh, and they post montage and stuff. They post this stuff up and it makes it look like they're these amazing players all the time when in reality that's like two, three, four months worth of work they put in that video and it's uh, it's a sad thing I guess. It's, I don't know, it's kind of lame that people you know play that way. When, now, when you run the snipers here in Black Ops 2 they're not as big a problem as they have been in previous Call of Duty's. When I see a person you know that runs around sniping and goes negative the whole game, he goes negative the whole game. There's no random games where he gets lucky. There's no random games where he gets good, sh you know, lucky shots on me. He just dies nonstop, and I like that. And I think it's because what Treyarch did, they I forget going leading up into the game, they discussed how they uh, discussed it and like brought in like different kinds of pro players and different kinds of snipers from YouTube and whatnot to kind of uh, balance the sniping. I, I might be wrong on that. Um, to kind of balance the sniping the best they can. And I think they have. The scope in time for the snipers, I feel as though it's pretty similar to Modern Warfare 2 without Slave Hand Pro. Is that, like, if you guys tried using an intervention without Slave Hand Pro in Modern Warfare 2, I kind of feel like that's the, the, you know, the zoom in time for the scopes, which I think is pretty balanced. I think it works. I mean, me personally, I've griped about it personally because it is difficult. Like if you're like two feet away from, from a guy and then, you know, that guy's got a submachine gun, you don't even have time to pull up your scope before he takes you out with his two or three bullets, right? I like that aspect of it. Snipers aren't a nuisance in this game, yet if you use properly, they are good. I mean, they're obviously, I feel as though it's easier than the Black Ops sniping, but it's a lot more difficult than, you know, the Modern Warfare sniping from Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Overall, I'd say sniping is taking a step forward in this game. I'd say it's, I'd say it's balanced. And a lot of people may disagree with that. A lot of people are the people, or the kind of people I described earlier 
who only snipe, only snipe, only snipe, and then you just you know, die and die and die every game, and they're having more difficulty in this game because of that. But um, I still think the snipers are balanced. I think uh, they work overall. And this is coming from some, and this isn't coming from someone who you know cherry picked this sniping game and decided you know how I'm act like I snipe all the time. In reality, the DSR sniper rifle is my third most used gun in this game. Uh, I think number one is the MP7. I think number two, oh, what would number two be? Probably the MA Day one or the Type 25, and then uh, number three is the DSR here, right? So I, you know, I snipe a lot in these in, in Black Ops 2 because I like the sniper. I like the sniping. I think it's balanced. I think it takes a degree of skill, a degree of talent, a degree of aim. I guess uh, I'm not. I'm not really big in saying who's who's like you know who's skilled in Call of Duty. I, I don't really consider you know being good at Call of Duty a necessarily a skill. But um, that's just a common phrase, a common lingo, I guess, that people call it skill. If you're good at sniping, it's called skill. So um, I think overall it takes a degree of that. And I think it's a, uh, overall, I think it's a great implementation of the game. But if you guys go ahead and let me know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about sniping here in Black Ops 2 thus far? Um, you think it's good? You think it's too easy, too hard, etc.? Let me know. But um, hopefully you picked up something away from this game, but hopefully you took away something from this as well. Um, you know, sniping on Nuketown, where Nuketown is a map where <laughs> usually snipers are going to get shanked on unless they're, like, hiding inside the building and then, you know, just kind of sniping the people that go into the other window in the building. Um, but essentially, I mean, there's host migration right there. Uh, essentially, though, I've played Nuketown so many times from the regular Black Ops, I know how the map plays. And that's one of the things I really liked about Black Ops um, Nuketown 2025 is the fact that it is the exact same layout, exact same spawns, exact same everything as the original Nuketown. Therefore, I can predict the spawns. Therefore, I know the lines of sight. Therefore, this, that, and the other. And I can usually do well on this map. And there you go. And that's how I use a sniper on this map. I've always, I don't know, I've always had this thing about me where I like to snipe on small maps. But I don't like to snipe on big maps. Does that make sense? Like, it goes back to Call of Duty World of War. Whenever the map Dome came up, I always sniped. I'm not sure why. I always sniped, I think, I think I did for a challenge, just to challenge myself for whatever reason. For whatever apparent reason, I felt the need to maybe just challenge myself and, you know, snipe on the smallest maps in the game, like on Shipment in COD 4 or Dome in um, World of War. And obviously, that was a horrible fail. But, I mean, this is, I think this gameplay is actually from either the first, I'm level 43. It's either the first night or the, uh, it might have been the second night the game came out. Uh, my aim's gotten better. My game, my aim's gotten better with the sniper. My aim's gotten better overall. I've been switching around sensitivities to find out what I'm comfortable with. I think I've finally settled on seven. I'm pretty comfortable with the seven sensitivity. I said initially right to four because four is my sensitivity in other Call of Duties, but four feels way too slow in this game, which is what I'm using in this video. And I end up fixing that. But hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts about sniping in the comment section below. Please remember to rate to wherever you guys feel deserves. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day. I was banging seven grand rocks beside a roll. I got one.